Hello, I'm Susan Alexander and I'm the former Main Street manager and I'm here this afternoon with Brenda Underdown from our Historical Society. We're here to finalize, wrap up if you will, the uh, videos that we did on the homes and the buildings that were of importance to our own community way back when and uh, Brenda and I are going to be sharing the, that with you today. Brenda? And I really enjoyed working on this history project with, with Susan and um, Chris. It, it meant a lot to be a part of it, to go back through our old, old history and visit some of our beautiful old buildings, our beautiful homes, and learn about some of our interesting people that was so important to our community way back when. I, I feel like that with our uh, history being taped on videos that the young people, the young generation of tomorrow will be more likely to watch them than they would be to read a book. Uh, when Marion Main Street sponsored the fifth grade uh, walking tour, I think that was a wonderful project for them as well as for Brenda and I and the other tour guides that were involved. I think when they physically walk in front of a building or when they stop and they look at the structure and the tour guide was able to tell them a brief history about that, I think it was very Im impressive to those students and I think it gives them a sense of, of who they are from a sense of where they're coming from from the past. And uh, after Main Street put the murals up on the fence, even though those buildings are no longer in existence, that still gives them even a deeper sense of history and who they are. And uh, uh, different ones on Main Street have experienced students coming up to them and saying, what a great time I had during that. I'm now headed into college and I want to teach civics and I want to come back here because I love the community, I love the history, and that they, they love the sense of pride that we have in who we are and where we come from. Don't you think that, Brenda? Yes, I do. I enjoy uh, finding the old history about the buildings that were once here and are here no more like the murals. That way the, the children and the adults can actually see what these old businesses really look like. Mm -hmm. We do hope to continue the fifth grade walking tour. I think uh, the Historical Society has uh, stepped up and said that they would like to continue the tour, so we think we're going to be able to, to revisit that in the spring and uh, send another generation home with more knowledge of their, of their city and their county. We're looking forward to being a part of that and, and going on the tour and helping the children understand what our county and town used to be like. There were other significant houses, Brenda, that uh, we didn't get uh, the video tour of. What were some of those? One, one of the oldest homes in town was located on 251 West Belleville Street and today it's the home of uh, Marion and uh, Tommy Tabor but in 1850 it was the, the nun home. It's inside the home today there's a two, two room log cabin that the home is built around and it's actually the oldest home in Marion that's still being lived in. And it also has a historical marker in front of it telling about the nun family that lived there. And then just right up the street from it is the, the second oldest uh, church building in Marion, which is the Christian Church. Mm -hmm. It was built in um, 18, 1894, and it's still standing today, and it's on the Kentucky Historic Register for Historical uh, Buildings. I've heard that the original foundation of the first Christian church, the foundation was built as a temporary jailhouse. And uh, I've had the opportunity to go in and, and see this, and it, that's quite impressive to see that. that, yes. that they never destroyed anything. They repurposed, they reused. That's, that's great to know, and um, that, that, that they think enough to preserve the history mm -hmm. like that. Another old uh, 
home, the everybody in Marion uh, sees most every day if they go to the post office is the uh, Rip and Barbara Wheeler home sitting, sitting across the street from the post office. It was built in 1905 by David Woods and uh, they keep it in beautiful shape. In closing, we would just like to say that we're thankful for the opportunity and for the means to produce these electronic videos and that they will be preserved for future generations. We want to thank Chris Evans and his guidance and his help and also to Brennan Cruz who has uh, so joyously participated in this and of course Brenda Underdown who is our walking encyclopedia of history. We want to thank her very much and um, I'd just like to say thank you. It's been a privilege. For me too, it's been a privilege and an honor. Mm -hmm.